John Taffer is the fixer. When it comes to helping bar owners turn their businesses around, Mr. Taffer gets the job done. But sometimes it is not pretty. This isn't right, correct? And then you brought it out anyway. You don't know anything, but you know how much you won last night, don't you? This place is a disaster, and the owner is the biggest disaster of all. You couldn't pull it off, so you're cursing your wife and your drink. You're failing because you're a Wow. Ooh, a, a, he is no joke, but the results are important. And this season, John and the bar rescue team are headed to Las Vegas to rescue the city's struggling nightlife industry. See, you guys are thinking that things are great because you leave with money in your pocket. But your actions behind the bar are causing his failure. This past year, overpours, taking care of friends, maybe keeping a tip or two and applying it towards a sale, that $165,000 cost him his home. And here with us this morning is the bar rescuer himself, Mr. John Taffer! All right, hi, Mr. Taffer. OG here. So let me tell you something. I hi. yell all the time. I yell, but I have an excuse. I'm Nigerian. Are you Nigerian? I'm not Nigerian, <laughs> but I have a purpose, OG. I know you do. Okay, so we know all that bar rest. The bar rescue is not your only job. So on the days you shoot, I know you handle your other business in the morning and then shoot the show till way past midnight. So with all the yelling, how do you unwind at the end of the day? And have you ever lost your voice? No, I've never lost my voice. What? Actually, one time I came close. We, were, we shot an episode of Bar Rescue in New Orleans on Halloween night. And, and I kind of screamed so loud to be heard outside that I did lose my voice that week. But uh, uh, generally, the way I'll unwind is I'll just come home and, and, and have a drink and just sort of in a dark type of a room. And just it takes about a half hour, 45 <laughs> minutes to sort of come down after a Bar Rescue because it is so intense. All right, so here's the thing. You're talking about intense, but I think impressive is also another word because you just started off with the first season had 10 episodes. By season two was more than 40 episodes. And so what's the, what, which season have you had the most episodes and how many are we at at this point? Because I lost count. <laughs> we, well, I passed 200 episodes this season, OG, which is a big deal for wow. me. And sort of puts us in the record books. And that happens sort of in the middle of this season. But I think the most we've done in any season was about 52, Jeez. which was season four or five. Now we tend to do between 20 and 30 each season. Oh, my goodness. So you're already in, like, multiple countries. It's done in, like, different languages. And this season, you're going to be in Las Vegas, which was hit very hard economically because of the pandemic. So why is this important for you to take care of them? And we're not talking about this trip. We're specifically talking local businesses, correct? Yeah, absolutely. You know, Las Vegas, because it's so centric on tourism, got hit more than any other city during the pandemic. Unemployment, OG, was up at 35 percent. I mean, the casinos were boarded up. It was closed. So coming to Las Vegas and helping restart this city, it was means very much to me. It's not only my home, but clearly it's a city that's been devastated by the pandemic. So we're rescuing 10 local bars. And what's great, OG, is these are the bars that serve the employees that serve our tourists. All so right, to, to, it's to, all very supportive of the city, and it's very personal to me this year. Oh, let me just say this, because to a lot of us, you are you have superhuman powers, as we can clearly see. So, and you can't make it to every single bar, you can't save every business. So, what advice do you have for restaurants or businesses who are struggling, especially as a result of the pandemic? Well, I think this summer we saw the enter Boomtown. Think about this, OG. If we lose 38% or so of all the restaurants out there at the end of the pandemic, then when everybody comes back this summer, we have 38% less capacity. So the restaurants that make it can do really well this summer and next year. So I encourage them to watch their money, hang in there, and get ready for what I think is going to be a roaring 20s Boomtown this summer and this fall. Uh, you heard the man, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. John Taffer. You can see more of him this Sunday when Bar Rescue returns to the Paramount Network. Thank you so much, sir. Come back soon with more advice. You're so smart. Such a pleasure to meet you. Uh, I'd love to, OG. All right, Good to thank see you. you. See you soon, Dan.